Miracle X10 Olympic style recurve. How you doing? I'm Sean McVeigh with Sean's Outdoor Adventures and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up an Olympic style recurve bow. In this video I'm going to be using the Miracle X10 uh, Olympic style recurve bow and I'm going to show you what comes with this package and uh, how to assemble it. You do have two options with the riser. One is similar to a Hoyt style, one is similar to a win-win. I personally chose the one that's got the similar technology to a Hoyt. So the riser is in this piece here. This is a very high quality bow, by the way. Um, I am very impressed with it. So the, the cost of this whole setup here is roughly around $799. And it's the equivalent of, you know, if you were going to buy like a Hoyt brand or a Win Win, the same quality you're going to spend two, three thousand dollars, you know, something like that. So I, my whole rig is about a 70 inch bow. You base the, the length of the bow on your draw length and your height. So I went with a 30 por, 34 pound limb. The limbs are rated off of a 28 inch draw length. And so me, I'm closer to a 30, almost a 32 inch draw length. So we're adding several pounds of weight per inch. So I'll be pulling closer to somewhere in the forties and I'll check that out later exactly how much I'll be pulling. So I'll take out the limbs. This is an ILF bow, which is international limb fit. This is basically um, what you would be using for any type of Olympic style recurve bow. So the Miracle X10 riser is CNC made aluminum. The Miracle 10X limbs are made of carbon and foam. The performance again equals the high end Hoyt and Win Win. So the, to get the overall length what you want it to be, it's a combination of the length of the riser and the length of the limbs. I'm going with a 70 inch uh, bow. Yeah. So when you're putting the limbs on into your limb pockets, the way you can decipher the difference between the top limb and the bottom limb really is the Miracle X10. If you hold this limb like this, you'll see that the Miracle X10 is upside down. That's the bottom limb right there. That is one easy way to ensure that you're putting the limbs on the correct way. It's a simple Oh, you got to take this little uh, foam piece off. I almost forgot that. Take the little foam piece off, and then you're going to slide this into the limb pocket here. And you'll hear that little click. Get the top limb on. There's a little metal piece that flanges out. You want to slide that in to the little slot. It's pretty self-explanatory once, once you're uh, looking at it. Hear that little click. So this is going to be the overall length of the bow right here. Now this kit comes complete with sight, stabilizers, rest, clicker, everything you're going to need. One thing you will need to get, well maybe two, two, three things, is you're going to need arrows, of course, which I still have to order mine. You're also going to need a finger tab. Most people shoot with a finger tab. And you're also going to need a stringer, like what you use to string the bow. So you typically look at the loops on the ends of the string to see which one is the top of the string, which loop, usually the larger loop goes to the topper to top limb of the bow. And you're going to slide that over. You're going to slide that over the top limb here and down and of course this is going to sit in the grooves of the bottom limb down here and we'll just set that like that. In the meantime we'll put on our sight. Sight comes in this nice carrying case here. So we're going to put on the sight arm here like this. 
there is a sliding component here that it will slide off. <clears throat> We're going to get our <clears throat> screws and you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some Loctite real quick and come right back. Alright, got the blue Loctite so what I'm going to do is anytime you're putting a screw in a bow of any type it is a good idea to use Loctite to help hold it in place because bows vibrate when they are shot and screws can come loose. And of course, they can, that can happen in the most undesirable moments. You could be in the middle of a competition and about to win, and suddenly a crucial piece comes loose, like your sight, and you could lose. You don't want that to happen. So a little bit of blue Loctite, and you use the blue because that helps to hold it in place, but it can be undone. It can be taken back out. Alright, so our screws are in. I get them snug. So now that piece is ready. I like to then put in my plunger for the arrow rest. I like to have the plunger in first because this style of arrow rest is an adhesive and having the, the plunger in place kind of just helps make sure that that is centered where it needs to be in advance. So the rest is here in this uh, nice little container that unscrews this way. Uh, what you're going to do, your plunger comes out and there are different springs in here to modify the tension in your, your plunger. So you have the capability of doing that. Right now it's pretty firm. Uh, so you, you can change that. We can change the, the depth of the setting later. Hopefully you can kind of see the plunger sticking out. Let me grab my... Actually, you know what? Let me back this out for one second. And I just want to wipe the surface with some cleaner, like rubbing alcohol. And that way I'll get a good adhesion to that surface. And here's my arrow rest. This style of arrow rest, you have an adhesive backing. You want to do your best to try to put it on square. Okay. So our rest is in play, and my plunger's out too far. So I'll probably have to reset that. All right, we will, we will fine tune that later. Okay, let's go ahead and string the bow. And this is the one component you will need to get a bow stringer. The way you use a bow stringer, if you're not familiar, the type I typically use for a recurve, this end will slide over the top limb down below where the string, top of the string is. And then you will take the boot end and put it, first you wanna make sure this is properly seated and then you're gonna slide the boot over that. You're gonna step on your stringer here and pull up on the bow. I'll just use my chair to step on it just to give you a little bit more visibility. So you're going to step on the stringer, you're going to hold it in place right here, pull up on the bow to string it. And then the first thing you want to do after you string a bow is make sure that your st string is properly seated in the grooves here. String, it's a brand new string. I need to twist it a little to get it to lay properly. And what a lot of people will do is just kind of twing it a little bit just to help it rest set in place properly. Okay, now 
Now, one thing to keep in mind is you never want to draw a bow without an arrow knocked and ready to shoot. So um, try to resist that temptation. I had somebody recently just order one of these Dragon X8 compound bows uh, through my website from the manufacturer. And when they got it, they drew it back and let it go. And the string came off the cams because it's not made to do that. All right, next we're going to install our stabilizers. So these pieces are gonna to screw together here. And this will screw into my riser. Now there is a hole going through here and what you essentially do is you put a wrench or like an Allen key or something through that to help cinch it tight. All right, so I've cinched that tight. This one here, I want it to be fairly perpendicular to the ground. Now, I personally like to install mine, so they ha this has quick releases, and I like to face them up so that you're not in the middle of shooting, it doesn't just slide out the bottom. But these are for your back facing stabilizers. Grab one of those. I have two, um, I think these were 12 inch. What did I get? Yeah, two 12 inch back facing. And for the forward facing, I went with 28 inch. These quick releases are nice, you know, for when you're taking your equipment apart to pack it up. And it slides down in, and then you. Screw that in, tighten it up. Then on the end, that's where you put your weights and um, this bow also comes with dampeners too that can go on the end to help uh, dampen vibration and things like that. In the lid has the little screw for the weights. So watch for that. Some people might think, well, why do you need all these stabilizers? And think of a tightrope walker, like someone who's walking on a tightrope. They have a big long bar that they hold. It helps, helps them keep their balance and keep steady. That's really what's going on with stabilizers with these style of, of bows, is it helps to keep it all steady, what you're doing. So I have a 28 inch front facing stabilizer. You can get a 30 inch, but I just went with a 28. When you're not using the bow, you want to make sure it's unstrung, by the way. All right. So here is our stabilizer. Very nice. We can put our sight mount back on. Always look at the holes, and I always count, you know, which hole I'm, which hole I'm putting it in. And always put it in the same hole. Just mentioning that. In case anybody that's watching is still fairly new to archery. And then we have our bracket piece that goes on there. To install this, I'm coming from the bottom. I'm pushing this thumb piece in from the side. And it just slides up over the bottom of the sight slide there. Into place. And then our pin, our actual pin, slides into that out here. Okay, very nice. All right, now let's set up the clicker. The clicker plate here is gonna mount onto the front side of the bow over here. Okay, so we want our clicker plate nice and tight. And our clicker is in the package here. I do appreciate that they include the necessary keys to make all of your adjustments. Not all bows do that. Screw the clicker plate in up here on the bow. Now, depending on your draw length and, you know, what length your arrows are, you, you know, this clicker plate here may not, um, might not work for your setup. They do make clickers 
that, that will still attach onto your sight bar there and can be used even all the way out here, you know. All right, now when it comes to tuning, um, you can adjust the tiller with your screws up here. And when it comes to, you know, if you're, you gotta check to make sure your string is riding down the center of the limbs. If it's off, that means your limbs need to be shimmed. And the way you shim them is the uh, screws come out here and there are metal shims in there. You can switch shims to the side. So for instance, let's say I needed to shim my limb that way. I could take some of the shims off of this side, put them in there, and those shims are inside these screw holes here. But that's it. That is the Miracle X10 Olympic style recurve bow. Super nice bow. I'm so looking forward to doing some shooting with this. And um, I currently need to get some arrows in order to be able to do that. So I will be doing that in the very near future here. Uh, probably even today or tomorrow, order some arrows. And so I'll do some more sh videos with the shooting. I will also set up some... Uh, I'll just set up some weights on the ends of these. And in order to do that, I guess I should just show you real quick. There is a little Allen screw that goes in the ends of the stabilizer. And of course, depending on how uh, many weights you want to use is going to determine you know, how filled up this is going to look. There's an Allen screw key that goes into here. Let me just go ahead and tighten that up. Nice. Do the same on the other side. So there is a little, little plastic washer that comes in there. You want to put that on first. There are some other things you can do if you want to do a little more silencing of the bow. There are some components for putting on the limbs. You would put those on the inside of the limbs up in here. And uh, those are just an adhesive. That is not a, a necessity. You can put on these little rubber guys on the ends as well. Nice. Now I just gotta get those arrows and I will be in shape. I will be ready to go. You, it does have an optional little piece you can, a uh, little stabilizer piece that screws in. Typically you see them screwed in up here. So there you have it. This is the basic setup of the Miracle X10. I'm very excited. I got to get some arrows, get a knock on here, and get shooting with this. But um, this, is, this is something I've wanted to do probably for the last 15 years of my life is you know, try some... Uh, tournament style recurve archery and it just was never in the budget I could never afford it I mean a lot of your upper end bows are several thousand dollars to get something of this equal quality so I'm happy to finally have a chance to get something that's nice and it is you know a, a good setup like a good quality setup again if you want to check it out if you want to get one uh, there's a link in the description section um, not only is it a good price and a good setup, but it also, they give me a little kickback if you decide to purchase through that link. I'm sure there's other ways you can buy it as well, but that supports my channel. Um, you'll need to get arrows. You'll need, you know, a finger tab. You'll want an arm guard when you're doing this type. But um, it really does come as a complete package with the sight, the rest, the clicker, the stabilizers. I mean, even the stabilizers alone is, is a big is a big help to have that as part of the package. High quality limbs, high quality riser, uh, a lot of colors to pick from. I just went with black. I wanted to keep it kind of baseline. So I appreciate you tuning in. I hope you will stay tuned to the more videos I'll be putting out with this, shooting with it, um, talking about different things in relation to it. Uh, and until then, I thank you for tuning in. Take care and God bless.